Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you something about bikes again and this will be a very interesting topic that will be interesting to all of you guys. So um, as you know that the bikes nowadays are not cheap. It costs about a few hundred dollars up to a few hundred thousands of dollars. So whenever we actually drive it out on the road and we park it somewhere, we might be afraid of it being stolen. Uh, it was because it is a really light bike and it will be easily carried away by anyone. So um, what do we really need to do to protect and prevent it from theft? It is through the bicycle lock. There's a lot of types of um, bicycle locks in the market. Some comes with this type of locks where it is a really thin lock with a key to open and close it. This is uh, not really secure to me because if there's anyone with any um, clamp that they can actually uh, clamp out the cable, they can actually easily cut this and take your bike away. Recently, I've discovered one of the locks that I felt it is really reliable for our bike. Today, I'm going to share with you the lock and how I'm going to install it on my bike. Without further ado, let's go. I found this uh, lock online and I found out that uh, even with the drill, it actually can't break the chain or we call it the lock for the bike. So I found it very interesting and I bought one of it. The lock is produced by Rock Brothers and there's um, two designs for this lock. One is a round shape and another one is this square shape. So I've decided to get a square shape because I like square more than round. And um, let me open up and show you what do they have inside the box first. So inside this box, they have um, two screw and one Allen key. They have the, yeah, this is the lock with the lock holder. And keys. Basically, they have two keys for this um, lock. So now uh, I would like to share with you how this key works. So you have to just put in the key and open it up like this. Actually, there's another one that is keyless. They use the um, code to put it in. A lot of people say that that is a much more secure one. But please bear in mind, if you lose the key numbers, you'll never get back your bicycle. You'll be locked there forever because these items it's not drillable, it's not breakable. So I felt that uh, that is a very dangerous thing to do, to use the numbers code. So I've actually um, decided to use the key instead. So after you open it up and it actually dismantles from the holder, what you have to do is just to turn. Turn it and it will actually automatically open it up. So this is how it looks like. And you chain it on the bike and maybe a pole put it in back here and press it so it will lock like this and you will never come out anymore unless you use the key to open so what you have to do is to open it up through the key so once the key is popping up then you can open it up so this is how it, it is easy to use so if you want to keep it, you just roll it up like this, all right, and slowly turn it. On the back here, there's one lock. So slowly turn it in and lock it. So now we have the lock here, but please don't push this back in first. What you have to do is to put it in and push it back. So it is locked on your holder. So this is how the lock looks like. And now I'm going to install this onto my bike. There's many ways that um, they recommended us to install um, this um, bike lock, but I do prefer to install it below the saddle. So I would like to put it here, but most probably I'm not going to put it too low because it will actually refrain me from adjusting my seat height. So I'm going to put it most probably here. And uh, what I'm going to do is like, this maybe like this I think at the back no I think I'll put it at the front here so this is how 
I'm going to install it. So what I'm going to do is to put it properly, put it back here. And this is the side that I have to put this thing in. And I have to lock this properly. So I'm going to put it like this. So what I'm going to do now is there's two button here and this is the side most probably is to put it back in here so i'm going to install this on the other side all right now we are at the other side of the bike now what i need to do is to adjust this properly it is not by pushing in but it's by turning in so i have to put it in some and start Turning in. Maybe I'll just install one first. And then push another one in from the side here. done here let me check to see whether is is it fully tightened yeah it is tightened and it is fixed onto the holder yes all right now it is tightened so what we have to do is to put this back in all right just to install it you have to put like this and you are done so um this is how easy it is to install the rock brothers lock and um i'm going to show you how i'm going to take it out and lock it on my bike for you to have an idea on how it is being used the first thing that we need to do is to open this lock out all right and then remove it so after removing it as usual you just do a turning and it will actually come out by itself so if you can see from the bike here don't lock on the tire because they can dismantle the tire and remove it so what you have to do is this is the bike frame so look somewhere that you can Put your bike frame over so maybe you can actually lock it at the back here and then whenever you have a pole you just lock on the pole and lock it up so this is how it should be so whenever people wanted to steal your bike firstly they can't actually um, break this chain or we call it lock Another thing is, if they would like to steal it, they can't steal the frame. So there's no point for them to steal any accessories because this frame is more important than anything else. Other things are accessories. So in the event that, where's my key? All right, I found my key. So this key, if you lost it, you are gone too. But at least they have two keys that for you to open so you can keep the spare and in case that um, you're using the spare you can actually duplicate it at any time so you can just open it up and remove it out so when keep it just turn it roll 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 and just do some turning like this and it will be locked so it is locked put this thing back in and done so I think um, that's all folks for my sharing on the most reliable lock that I found up to date 
I hope that um, you like my review on this uh, lock. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.